Okay, so I finally got the borescope, and we are looking through the 22. This is a Ruger 1022, of course. So here's the bolt face. We're up against the bolt. This is the chamber. Let me turn up the brightness here. Chamber, chamber. There's probably the throat. Let it up a little right there. Okay, now we're really clean and shiny in here, so I'm going to turn the brightness back down some. That looks to be about right. Pretty normal, nice, bright, shiny. Right there. Looks like there's a whole area that just got chewed up. And it's right at about the... between the 14 and uh, 12 inch mark. So I'm going to thread this mirror on a little better. Okay, here we are. Everything looks really nice, really clean. I'm going to try and follow this here to land. Right there. That's the spot. Let's rotate around and look at this. Seems to go all the way around. There is... There is land there. It just doesn't look like very much. Let's turn the brightness down a little more. That seems to be the magic zone right there. Try it a little dimmer. So that's the spot. Everywhere else looks really shiny, bright, smooth. Throat. Right there. That is definitely the spot. So, anyway, this video is going to get sent to Ruger. And Ruger is going to decide what they're going to do about this barrel. Pretty disappointed in this. I mean, somebody had to have noticed that something happened while they were either counter drilling the bore of this rifle. I don't see this happening while it was rifled because it looks like the button. Ah. Eh. Maybe they had issues there. I, I can't tell. It looks like something happened during drilling. But whatever it was, it is... Not looking good. That's it.